Hello everyone, so I'm going to show you how I make these really cool rose chokers. Um, and yeah. So to start, I got a 5mm crochet hook on my yarn and I made a slip knot. I then crocheted a chain that was 61 stitches long and I used a few methods on how to make this rose because I made a few of these and I just found this was the best method to make the rose um, so I'll link the video um, that I got this method from um, just because I think it works the best honestly so once I'd done the chain of 61, I then again chained 5 stitches. And now you're going to skip 5 stitches and then double crochet into the 61st stitch. So yeah, skipping 5 stitches and then again double crocheting like so. And then you're going to skip two chain stitches like so and then double crochet into the third stitch like so and then chain three so one two three and then double crochet into that same stitch so that should give you like a kind of V looking stitch so again, skip two stitches and then double crochet in to the third stitch. And then chain three, so one, two, three and then double crochet again into that same stitch. And you're just going to continue that the whole way along the chain. So skipping two stitches and then double crocheting into the third stitch and then chaining three and then double crocheting again. And to double crochet, you just wrap your yarn around the hook and then insert it into the stitch, Bring the yarn through onto your hook, pull through the first two loops and then pull through the second two loops. So yeah, as I said before, yeah, you're just going to repeat that the whole way along the chain. So skipping two stitches, double crocheting into the third stitch um, and then chaining three, then double crocheting into that same stitch and just repeat that. And once you finish the whole chain, you're then going to chain three. So one, just getting the fluff off, two, three, and then turn your work and then make five double crochets into the first V stitch. So 
once you've done five double crochets into the first v-stitch you're then just going to go into the next stitch but it shouldn't be a v-stitch i think you'll probably see it's just like a small stitch next to the v-stitch and you're just going to single crochet into that stitch and then you're going to make six double crochets into the next stitch which should be a v-stitch And then again, once you've done six double crochets into the V-stitch, then you're just going to go into the next small stitch and do a single crochet stitch. And in the next gap, so it should be a V-stitch, you're going to do eight double crochets now into that V-stitch. And then again, once you've done the eight double crochet stitches into that stitch, you're going to single crochet into the next gap, which shouldn't be a V-stitch. And then again, into the next V-stitch, you're going to do eight double crochets into that stitch. And you're just going to continue that the whole way along until the last two V-stitches. Um, so you're just going to continue doing eight double crochets into the v-stitch and then a single crochet into the next gap which is the small gap that should not be a v-stitch So when you've done all of them and you've reached the last two V-stitches, there should only be two V-stitches left, you're going to do 10 double crochets into those V-stitches and then obviously doing a single crochet in between them in the gap, the small gap that should be between them.
So once I'd done the 10 double crochets and the last two V stitches, I then just did a single crochet and then cut the yarn and pulled a knot. I then got the end where I put five and six double crochets into the first two V stitches and then I just kind of used that as the center and I just kind of wrapped the rest of it around it um, like so. Probably didn't do it right but <laughs> that's how I did it. Then I just cut a bit of yarn and then I just made a slip knot on a smaller hook and then I just kind of like pulled the hook through like, each kind of I don't know how to explain it, but just kind of each bit of the chain and I just kind of pulled the yarn through like kind of as if you were sewing it, but I was using a crochet hook um, but I did a some crochet first um, into like one of the first stitches um, and then I just used the rest to kind of um, just pull the yarn through kind of weaving it into each um, hole kind of thing I then made a chain that was long enough to wrap around my neck and tie. Um, so that was around about 60 centimeters, I think. Um, yeah. So once I'd finished the chain, I then just single crocheted into each stitch, like so. And to single crochet, you just insert your hook into the stitch and then pull the yarn through the stitch and then pull the yarn through the two loops on your hook. And yeah, so I just did a single crochet stitch into each stitch along the chain. So once I'd done that, I just cut the yarn and pulled a knot through and then I just got the rows that I'd made and then I just inserted a smaller hook um, into each like crevice bit that they have kind of, um, I don't know how to explain it, but just kind of like through the center of it and then I just got the chain um, that we just made, like the single crochet chain. And then I just pulled it through those um, loops just to kind of uh, put it in the center of the rows. And then I just tied a knot to keep it in place like so. And then I 
just got a smaller crochet hook and then I weaved in all the ends that were sticking out. And that was the finished product, I guess you could say. And I think these are really cool accessory and I've seen them all over my Pinterest. So yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.